<clears throat> my voice hates me today. So, yay, look, it's Violet. Everyone missed Violet. We all know that. I know she's not getting much love. I feel bad, because I do love her. Because her head and her feet and everything else is just so much better than, than the suit I made. Anyways, welcome to my new video. And this is about um, what classifies like a fursuit as a fursuit. Because I know this is like a widely asked topic where people are like, oh, can like these younger kids who don't have the money for something like this wear like a mask -a mole to cons and not like get like hate for it. And so there's all these different opinions out there and I went to the internet I was like, okay, what what is like a fursuit defined? And there's like no really good definition, so the best definition I could find was on Wikipedia. <laughs> but it was still a, a, a pretty decent definition, like I, it was good. And it explained that it's a costume or I think it was something like that. I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly what it was. I should have looked at it before I started this video. But what it basically meant is an animal costume, which is what the cheap not there's I am so sorry it's an animal costume that is made that is custom that is one of a kind of a character so that's the thing so does that mean these mask moles or cost like any like general like furry looking mask doesn't count because by that logic it mean it wouldn't but I still feel like you can make it count if you don't have the money to do this because I know how fun it can be to have something like this and how expensive it can be. And so, with that out of the way, this video is also going to talk about ways how you can get a fursuit as, like, in the best way you can for who you are. So honestly, the best option is to just wait, save up your money, and purchase what you want. Your character, whatever suit style, reference sheets, stuff like that. Because then it'll come out really nice, you know it will. Yes, you'll have to wait, but it'll be so worth it. And I know I'm not much to talk here, but I am saving up for another character of mine. So... Eventually, I'll make sense. <laughs> the second option, option number two, is, well, buy pre-made. They can be cheaper. Um, you don't have to wait, necessarily. They, there's probably some out there. I've never been, it's been hard for me to find them myself. But you could probably find them on Dealer's Den, Etsy, stuff like that. And they're not as expensive, but again, it's not your character that you created yourself, so you might not have, like, a connection to them. Third is, well, make a genuine fursuit from scratch yourself. Now, this is, like, a really risky option because it still costs you a lot of money to do. Like, it cost me, like, three, four hundred dollars to make my full suit, but it is digigrade, it is, it's, like, decked out <laughs> for as much as I could do. There's so much better I could do on it. So, if you want to go to top tiers, you'd have to pay more, but for what I wanted, it came out how I wanted it to come out, and I'm happy with it. I know it's not perfect, and most first fursuits will turn out perfect, so keep that in mind. Like, I'm a crafty person. I got lucky that it looks decent. It's definitely not, it's definitely not as good as this head. It's definitely not as good as other professional heads, but it's definitely not ugly to look at, or revolting, or, because I know... There's some judgy people out there in this fandom. So it's definitely a wearable head. <laughs> and everything else kind of just fits together. So that's your third option. But you'd still have to save up money. But you'd have you'd still pay less than the first two options. Because I don't really know where you could get a partial or pre-made. Unless it's just a head, maybe. Which I don't even think you could get a head for $300 at this point. That's decent quality. I don't... It's the cheapest out of all those so far. 
your last option is the mask mole or mass produced any type of mass produced head that you can find on the market so in order for this to work for you um you have to think of what species you want and for the sake of this video i've put together like a species i've put together a character that i didn't i didn't take too much time because i have stuff to do but i found a mask mold that i thought looked decent um, and I built a character around it. So, the character I chose was a tiger. And you can find this head on Amazon. I think it was like $30 there. You could probably find it for cheaper at Walmart or something. Maybe even Target. But, I just wanted to get the picture for reference right now. And, so you can purchase that. There you go. You got a head. But, in order for it to be a fursuit, an actual one, by definition and by just rights, you need to make it your own somehow. Either that be you create a character around the design that's already there, but you still have to add on to it no matter what. So you could add on with small things like, oh, always wear sunglasses, uh, always has a prop somewhere that you stick on it. Badges are helpful too, but again, this would have to come with a full out design that is different. And also things like, this goes along with the sunglasses, like a bandana. I can't open this because my paws are in the way. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and you can get all these. I think I got for this for $20 on Etsy. I made this myself. You could probably just make, you could probably just get a regular little bandana for like $5 at Walmart. I made this myself, so that's free. This came with my suit, and this did too, so I don't know how much these would cost. But, that's like the first route, but... I feel like the best route to take is that, is get props, things to wear, stuff like that. And buy one or two, most likely one because that's the cheapest option, one thing of fake fur. Faux fur. <laughs> You can find it good quality, but also very inexpensive on Etsy. I found an account that only sells faux fur, and it's like $8 a yard, <laughs> which is really good for, apparently, I mean, the reviews are good, I don't know how to trust it, but either way, this character you have won't be your final product, so even if the fur isn't top notch, it'll it'll definitely work, because my fur, I'm not sure it isn't even top notch. Um. So buy one or two colors, and then just hot glue it, add on patterns, just make it your own. And that's how you can make it a lot more tailored to you. Not only add another color, but maybe even change the eyes. So buy a pair, you can buy a pair of pre-made um, follow me eyes. I don't know if that would work with mask moles, but you can also buy pre-made just eyes that are 2D. You can add those on. That'll really help it look like your own character. Because the mask and the eyes always have like the same color. So changing the eye color is really important. And that would basically really be the helpful situation for the head. Now the next two pieces. Well, you could just walk around with the head. But, I mean, I wouldn't advise. I don't know how to word this. Lots of people like to have more than just the head of the suit so they can get into their character. That's why the two suits I have are a full suit and a deluxe partial, because I, I like being in my characters. It makes you just feel more into it. So the, the way to do that with the least amount of money is to just go for head, paws, and tail, which my tail's over there, so I'm not going to go grab it. For paws... Take like your species, whatever it is, the main colors of it, so this tiger that I showed you, and find like little gloves, I'll show a picture up here, um, so find like gloves, they don't even need to be full gloves, they can just go to like here, that have like little fur on them, faux fur, and then that could just work, or you could, you could probably find pretty cheap animal gloves on Amazon, if I find any, I'll put them here. 
and so there, there you go you got paws and then for tails you can find again pretty cheap tails on Etsy or Amazon I'd probably say Etsy is the place to go and so the whole suit itself would maybe cost like $50 so yeah it's, it's still it's still an amount of money but again this is this hobby and this fandom isn't cheap that's just how it is so you can always be part of it even without a suit but I know people just like being able to include their, themselves by like immersing themselves in the fandom because I know that helps me a lot right now I decided to make this video because I was like like I have exams tomorrow I just finished exams today I have exams tomorrow and I'm making a YouTube video because it makes me feel better it makes me calm down because I'm wearing my suit and I'm well feeling included so yes it's it's effort the last option is probably the most effort because you have to do all of these little not well third option making it all by yourself is the most effort but second most effort is definitely the fourth option but it's the cheapest and it's definitely gonna be really unique and you'll probably get like if you're a younger kid like not like like 13 and under and you made all of these like you get the mask and you add on to it you buy pieces maybe even like make a tail because that can be pretty cheap if you find like a fur color people are going to respect you for it because you put effort into it and you know you want to be a part of this but you didn't go and buy a full suit at age 10 because that's stupid <laughs> anyways that's all i really got for this video i hope you all enjoyed i hope um you got some information out of this i hope some people maybe get ideas for what to do for a possible first in the future but like i said the best option is just to wait if you're I would say like if you're st definitely if you're still growing don't get anything over like a normal partial which is like head hands and tail don't get anything over that because your feet could still be growing your body's definitely still growing and you don't want to grow out of something so expensive so definitely wait um I am 16 and people probably don't agree that I have a full suit but a I made it so it's at my own expense and B I haven't been growing since sixth grade so I think I'm good <laughs> anyways best option wait it'll be so worth it you'll end up spending less money in the end because you won't be spending money after money after money doing 1.0 2.0 3.0 whatever until you get the suit you finally want so that's the best option but again I understand no one wants to wait so if you don't there's the last two options for you. <laughs> well, I, even the other one, the pre-made, but I hope this was educational. hope this was helpful. Um, and I really hope that, well, young kids maybe get ex inspired to start making, to start creating, and maybe get a little bit more into the fandom because they can have a little spark of hope that their little maskable friends can actually get them their Sona a little bit. It's not perfect, but definitely a modified maskimal is a fursuit by definition. That's basically what this whole video is saying. Modify it, make it your own, then it's then it's a fursuit. Period. Simple definition, that's what it means. Yes, it doesn't look like this, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Everything is different. Everything looks different. And as long as it has the basic designs, like the basic principles of the definition, then it works. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a good day, and I hope this video decides it wants to edit correctly.